All right, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to make some strap clamps for the uh, rotary table. These are strap clamps. It's a nice small one. This is a big one for the um, milling machine. What we're going to start making is I need a set of clamps that will go across the entire um, rotary table. So when we clamp something down that's obviously the length of it, then we could, uh, we could work with it. I already have it laid out here, inch in, inch, half of that. We're going to drill a 5 16 hole, and then we're going to machine a slot similar to this, maybe the same size, length, and um, that'll give us some wiggle room. We're going to start with those two, and then I want to cipher something. I would like to uh, machine something similar to this. All right, let's head over to the milling machine. I drill a hole at the beginning and the end of the slot. I start to mill the slot when I realize my tool isn't long enough to go through the part. I flip the part 90 degrees and take 20 thousandths off the top. This will work fine. I repeat the process on the other end. This turned out good. As you can see, the strap spans the part and attaches to the table using the hold down bolts. This is just one example of how these clamps are going to work. I machine the second one off camera. The process was the same as the first. This will work out perfect for holding down different size parts. Next, I'm going to make a variation of the small clamps. The clamps will be two and a quarter inches long, will be slotted, but at the back end will have a jack screw. This will eliminate the need for the step block and make it much easier to use. I'm going to machine it as one big block, then cut it to length. It will make it easier to fixture on the mill. I take roughly ten thousandths off the top and bottom. I cut the 30 degree chamfers. I know, I forgot to show you guys. I use a 30 degree angle block. It's nothing fancy. Put the angle block in, line the part up to the mark, and clamp it down. I use the same process on each side. I keep rotating the part to all three sides are chamfered. Now I can lay out for the position of the slots and the jack screw. I just have some rough dimensions here. I want the slot to be roughly an inch long. This layout looks pretty good. Let's head to the milling machine. I drill and tap for a quarter inch bolt that will be used as the jack screw. I drill a hole at each end of the slot. I mill the slot. This is looking pretty good. This looks good. I had a little blowout on the one end where I took the slot too far and it cut into the threads. No big deal, the threads still work. 
Let's head to the bandsaw, cut these to length, and then go to the mill and face them off. All right, I knocked the edges off. They look good. Let me show you how these things are supposed to work. Let's say we want to clamp this down. So let's get our, it's our quarter inch bolt. Actually, that, that looks pretty good. So next, what we do is put the stud in, just like that. Then once you get that in, you tighten it down. Go like that. Look at that. All right, so that's the idea. Look how that's holding it down. The next set of clamps, I want them to be probably three inches. I lay this bar out for two three inch strap clamps. The process of making the three inch strap clamps is the same as the two and a quarter. I'm not gonna film it. All right, kids. There they are. There's the three inch ones. They turned out good. This is the two and two and a quarter. And then I have the long strap clamps. So just again, let's recap. These ones, put the studs in. And we can take it across, clamp it down. We could use our strap clamps here. See how I have the stud in it? Same thing, bolt it down. And then of course you could use any combination. You know, if you want to use the long clamps here, we could use the short ones. Everything, anything would work. And then if you have different height material, you just change your jack screw to a shorter size and it will see it'll still work all right guys so that's the idea so there you go they turned out good thanks for watching please subscribe